afternoon, Bowling Green Junior High. I'm Pratiksha. And I'm Reese, and we're back with your student news. Today is October 29th. Now let's stand for the pledge. Please stand, Please stand for, for the, the pledge. pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And a happy birthday, too. For lunch, we'll have chicken wings, turkey and cheese sub, and PB&J. Yearbooks will be on sale now until November 28th. November 3rd at 2 p.m., there will be a beta induction ceremony in the auditorium. On November 1st, we will start our canned food drive for Dodgers the Hunger Games. That's on November 26th, so make sure to bring in cans. Hey, BG, I'm Brittany. And I'm Nessiah, and, and we're, we're back, back with your weather. weather. Today will be a high of 70 and a low of 53. With the 4 mile per hour wind and 10% precipitation and 70% humidity. Now, now throwing you to Josiah McKenna with our sports. What's up, BG? I'm McKenna. And I'm Josiah. And, and we're, we're back with PSPN. PSPN. Girls basketball has an away game against Glasgow at 5.30. Seventh and eighth grade boys basketball practice is here from 3 to 5.15. Sixth grade boys basketball is, he is here from 5.15 to 6.30. Now to Hannah and Allie with your ICU report. What's up, BG? I'm Hannah. And I'm Allie. And, and we're, we're back with your ICU report. report. In sixth grade, there's 98 missing assignments. Seventh grade has 94 missing assignments. And in eighth grade, there's 160 missing assignments. Be sure to sign up for ICU in the mornings in the gym and cafeteria. Don't forget to be finishing all of your assignments and studying for upcoming tests and quizzes. Now, now back, back to birthday, birthday Shannon Annabelle. Annabelle. I'm Maggie, and I'm here with... Miss Kedrum. Okay, so if you didn't teach math, what other subject would you consider teaching? Uh, I'd consider being a science teacher because I really have a passion for science as well. I have a minor in chemistry, so I like that as well. Um, do you Are you kind of like strong in both subjects for math and science? Um, I do feel like I am. After so many years of just being focused in math, I think I doubt my science skills a little bit at this point, but um, I do still feel like I'm better at it. Certainly stronger in those aspects than reading and writing. <laughs> And then if teaching wasn't an option, what else would you consider? Uh, my dream career, other than being a teacher, was always to be a marine biologist. So I think that'd be the other choice that I would go with. Okay, thank you. I'm Reese and I'm here with Miss Adams. So what did you want to do? Why did you want to start teaching? Um, I've known that I wanted to start teaching since I was middle school. Uh, middle school and high school, I kept saying that I just wanted to be a teacher. I wanted to be a teacher. I loved that my teachers had such a big impact on me. Um, and really made me love school and love coming and loving with my friends and learning and everything. Um, so I've kind of just always known. Um, but I guess probably in sixth grade when I had Miss Rucker, I knew I loved math. So that was one of my big things. Okay. And what other jobs would you consider besides teaching? Um, when I started college, I started out as a pre-physical therapy major. So I knew I wanted to be a teacher. But then I started exploring all these other options and I went pre-PT and then I switched to engineering and decided neither one of those was for me and I was just going to be a teacher. I was going to go with my first instinct. Okay, thank you. What influenced you to be a math teacher? A high school math teacher. Um, when I was growing up I had a wonderful calculus teacher and she influenced me um, to become a math teacher. Okay, and if teaching wasn't an option, what else would you consider? doing as a job. Wow. Well, I've been teaching for 20 years, so I've never really thought about what I would do if I wasn't teaching. Um, when I was younger, I really liked um, archaeology, like to go, like my dream is to go see the Great Pyramid and all the archaeological digs they have. So I might, I might have pursued that line. I'm here with Grand Pie Tower. Which do you prefer, Nike or Under Armour? Nike. Got it. I'm here with AJ Vernon. Which do you prefer, Nike or Under Armour? Nike. I'm with Jordan. Do you prefer Under Armour or Nike? Nike. I'm here with Jada Swinton. What do you prefer, Nike or Under Armour? Nike. I'm here with Aiden Jordan. And what would you prefer better, Nike or Under Armour? Under Armour. I'm here with Andy. <laughs> Do you like an Nike or Under Armour better? Nike. We're here with Ella Powell, and we are going to ask you which do you prefer, Nike or Under Armour? Nike. I'm here with Ellie Kate Parker, Caitlin Thomas, Emily Guire. <laughs> and we're going to ask, okay, do you guys prefer Nikes or Under Armour? 
you have a chance to win a Bluetooth speaker, candy, and four prizes. Teachers will be sent on Google Form to vote on the best costume for each category. Students can also vote for teachers by putting money in the tins in the lunch room. Bye, BG. November 4th and 5th, there will be no school. That's all for today. Have a great day, have a great BG. Day, BG.